Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is super, super exciting. It's a topic that I've wanted to film about for so long and I'm finally getting around to it today. And I feel like this is going to be a really empowering video and I hope you guys watch this video and feel a little bit inspired to get back into your own skin and really evolve and flourish the respect and the love that you have for yourself because it's honestly such a powerful thing. But today's this video is all about channeling that self-love, getting confident, and also kind of getting uncomfortable to get comfortable. So doing things that maybe make us feel a little bit nervous and we might lack confidence in, in the hope that it brings us closer to where we want to be. And I'm so excited. This is a topic I feel very passionate about and I have been on my own journey and I feel like this video is kind of like me patting myself on the back and being like, you've made moves, you're getting there. So I hope that this video encourages some of you guys to kind of channel the same kind of energy. This video has two parts. I do want to talk to you guys about my own body image and self love journey and loving the body that I am in because it has changed quite a lot in the past two years and there's been quite a big shift. And I just hope that me talking about it and opening up about it kind of helps some of you guys to feel like you're in the same boat. But one of the things that I do want to talk about is loving the body that you're in and that positive self-talk. Now, this is something I'm still working on, but I have struggled with my body image quite a lot in the past, um, but particularly more recently. And I've evolved into this space that I'm still evolving into, but it's full of just respect and love for the body that I have. And one of my biggest struggles was putting on lingerie and feeling uncomfortable when I looked in the mirror when I was getting changed. And that is something that I've worked so hard to combat. And I'm here to tell you that no matter what your size, no matter what your figure is, no matter, you know, what your body looks like, you are beautiful and you deserve to be confident and full of love because trust me you are worthy whether you believe it or not you are this is a video i really would have appreciated watching whilst i had been going through all of these really rough times but i'm learning to be confident in my skin and being confident comes down to not just what you're wearing but what you're wearing underneath your lingerie the first things you put on in the morning when you're getting changed and i feel like it has such an empowering effect on your energy and i love it so the first part of this video is going to be a, a lounge haul i have a few pieces that i've picked up personally for me that make me feel really happy and sexy and confident and just channel that energy that i'm really trying to drive home I am super pumped to share that with you guys. I do also have a discount code with lounge in case you do want to pick anything up or shop their website. It is just Georgia K10. I will pop it on the screen for you guys, but feel free to use that discount code if you do want to shop. I will also have the link down below as well as the link to all the items that I show you today along with sizing and all of that. The descriptions where you're going to find all the information. I've also got my laptop out so I can tell you the exact names of the items if you do want to search them up. Uh, and I'll also share some pricing and other details and stuff. I am going to get in to sharing with you guys my confident lounge pieces. If you do enjoy this video, please, please give it a thumbs up and let me know because I love doing videos on this topic and honestly, these pieces make me feel really empowered. I'm going to start off with an everyday classic. This is the most comfortable material I swear you will ever feel. These are the bamboo basics and let me tell you, you are going to want to get your hands on these if you need an everyday go-to. This is beautiful. So the first one is just kind of like a leisure crop top, I would say. It's got the classic lounge banding at the bottom. You can adjust the straps. It's like a crisscross and the material is just divine. I mean, you hear bamboo and you expect big things and this delivers. I'm obsessed. I got it in black. This is just the perfect throw on for the daily. And then this is the bottoms. It is a thong bottom, so quite cheeky, but they're super high waisted, which I love. You'll probably know if you've watched um, any of my other lounge hauls or if you've seen um, swimwear try-ons that I love a good high waist. So 
these are perfect for me they have the lounge banding at the top it is just the best quality I have so many lounge pieces in my collection some of which I have grown out of due to my body evolving and changing shape but but they are always my go-to because they are just the highest quality you cannot go wrong so this retails for $75 I've got the black but it also comes in white olive gray and taupe 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 <laughs> I get it wrong every time. Please excuse. So you can grab the top in an extra small to an extra large and the bottoms are an extra small to an extra extra large. I believe these are a large if that is a reference to you but honestly just so comfy. I've already worn these and washed these since I've gotten them and they are incredible. You guys will love them. Another basic and just classic. Oh, we've got the t-shirt bra um, and this is the nicest like brown mocha color. I have the bra here which just looks like this it's your classic every day and I honestly have had to clear out so many of these due to my boobs growing so I'm very excited to have some more lounge underwear to pop on because I think I have this in black and then I've got the matching g-string it just looks like this super cheeky at the back but that's what I like I wear it under all of my gym stuff and just a lot of my clothing I don't like seeing seams so g-string it is for me and it's got like the lounge banding at the top as well so yeah and as you can see it's that ribbed material so super comfy for the everyday you can also adjust the straps as well to fit your chest height and this one retails for 52 dollars the bra sizes are from a 30 a to a 38 g the sizing is really good on lounge so you can go in there and match it exactly to your bra size and the thong comes in an extra small to an extra extra large i got these in a large but i will pop my bra size down in the description as well in case you want some reference and now this is this is the energy for the video that i'm about to bring you the blossom balcony set is just mm, chef's kiss it's elite i have the hot pink and i just thought this would be super fun and really channel that energy that i'm going for these bras are beautiful and just make you feel so sexy so this is what it looks like as you can see it's got little flower um, patterns on the front it is very sheer so obviously it doesn't matter if you're wearing this underneath but when you take it off you just feel on fire and I love it you can adjust the straps as well and it's just got the lounge banding on the bottom the bottoms are super cheeky as you can see but very sexy and they've got like the thin waistband which isn't my favorite but these don't dig into me so I really appreciate that and the band is that beautiful lounge banding as well so this one's $95 it comes in so many colors there's like a beautiful mustard color and like an emerald green I love also comes in like your standard black so many colors available and the bra size for this one goes from a 30a to a 38g and the bottoms are in an extra small to extra extra large just for reference but again my sizing is down below but damn I just feel on fire with that one like that is my perfect like date night set that just like mm, makes me feel funky and fresh now I'm going to move on to some apparel I have the most beautiful and divine um loungewear set this is gorgeous I love waffle material I'll show you guys a close-up so you can see that Oop, the lighting just changed I wanted the top to be nice and oversized which it is it is just the perfect everyday lounging around the house shirt and I love the color comes in two colors this one but yeah the top is 60 the pants are 40 I got these shorts as we are coming into the warmer seasons here in Queensland but these are just so cute they've got what is this called lettuce edging I think and then the lounge band at the top they are so comfy and soft I just feel so cute when I'm wearing this it is such a cool set um, but yeah I think that this just makes me feel like I'm put together and I really appreciate that like a matching set just takes it to a whole nother level I can't explain really good quality again I have a few um, of lounges apparel pieces and I just like go through them again and again in rotation because they are just so comfortable and the best quality. So yeah, love that as well. And then I have a crew neck because I mean, it wouldn't be a Georgia haul if I didn't get crew neck. I have a lot, but I did get a black one because my current black one that I have that's just plain black, it is very old. It is 
going to fall apart like it is so distressed um so i got a nice fresh one and i know lounge does incredible crew necks so this is like their classic crew neck jumper it's got the lounge embroidery on the top and i just got it in black because you can't go wrong with black and it's nice and oversized it's like the perfect fit for me like it's oversized but not oversized that it's just like ridiculously big because i do have some crew necks that are crazy big but I do like them like that. And it's got the really soft inserts. And it's really, really soft inside, like the beautiful, super smooth material. So yeah, these crew necks come in a whole bunch of different colors. They're $75 and they come in an extra small to an extra large. So this is the extra large, like the bigger size they have for reference. But yeah, remember you can use my code GK10, which does give you a discount if you do purchase any of these items. But that is all the pieces that I have just picked up. And honestly, each of them in their own way makes me feel really confident and reminds me to practice self-love. So if you do like any of these pieces, I will pop the links for them down below, as well as a discount code and a link to shop. A massive thanks to Lounge for sending me those pieces out. Whilst they were kindly gifted, I've not been paid to say anything but I genuinely have been wearing lounge pieces for the longest time, as you would see if you scroll back on my channel. But yeah, in light of the topic of this video, I do wanna quickly share with you a bit of my journey and maybe a bit of the behind the scenes stuff that I don't openly talk about as much, just because it is one of those things that is really hard to talk about. Like when you're talking about body image and how you view yourself, it's a very vulnerable thing to talk about. But I did want to share that with you guys today. I have had a very up and down journey with my body image, particularly since high school. And that is totally normal. Your body changes as you get older. And especially during the phase that I'm in, like when you leave high school, that is when your body does the most changing. And as you go through your 20s, there's constant change and constant things that you're learning about your body, which I find really, really interesting. But there was obviously a time where I found that really difficult to accept. I still sometimes struggle with seeing old photos of myself like in high school and getting a little bit disheartened because I don't look like that anymore. But I remember how I was malnourished in high school. I remember grade 12 around formal season. I was really strict with my eating. I was definitely not getting enough nutrients and just was like skipping meals, a lot of bad negative behaviors. And then yeah, obviously as I've gotten older, my lifestyle has changed. I have found a love for the gym and working out and gaining muscle. And with gaining muscle comes weight gain. And I think that was very hard for me to acknowledge as well. Honestly, this big shift has come around working with my body and not against it and being able to realize that my well-being factors affect what you know, my body does. So I've changed up my training. I eat really well. And I feel like you go through seasons of changing that up. And I think that's really important to acknowledge as well. You're not just going to have one set thing that sticks with you for decades. Like life just isn't like that. I've also been working on a lot of positive self-talk. Um, like I was saying earlier, I would look at the mirror um, and I still do some days. I think that's also important to acknowledge I'm not saying I'm the most confident person ever. This is me coming into my own and me sharing that with you guys. But I would put on lingerie or just underwear and look at myself in the mirror and be so flippin' critical. Like if you heard someone else say those words, you would just be like enraged. It is so sad to think how harsh we are on ourselves, but I would pick up every single flaw, like the stretch marks, the weight gain, the thighs, the hips, like whatever it was, I would find a reason to knock myself down. And that is something I've been practicing so much more when those thoughts kind of come into my head. I challenge them and I go, look at all the amazing things my body does for me. I can exercise, I can run, I can last a whole day. Look at all these incredible things my body does for me. It processes food, it heals itself when I'm sick. Like that's just such an incredible thing. Like our bodies are beautiful and we should be celebrating that, not bringing it down. But in the last, I would say 12 months, I've lost a lot of confidence. Um, I have gone through a lot of journeys I want to say but I think that my confidence is something that really shook me um, because I did go through a period 
don't really know when it was like say 19 where I just became really confident in myself and I hold that image in my head a lot I was just loving life like you know I was proud of myself I was starting to have a healthier relationship with the gym and with eating and I just was a better me and really confident in my decisions like what I wear and what I do um, and I've lost a lot of that in the past 12 months. Um, and it's really affected me quite a lot. Put on clothes and I don't think very positively. It does get me down a lot. I've had some really shocking body image days, but it's all about progress and it's all about working on it. Yeah, getting myself back to that confidence level because I know that is when I am just, you know, living my best life. Also to note, the sea dog threw us all around and I think it's really important to acknowledge that that was just life you know there's nothing we can do to change that I was inside for like two years we were in lockdowns we weren't allowed to go out you know wasn't going on walks and stopped going to uni where I was walking around campus multiple times a week and you lose a lot of that physical activity which is obviously going to translate to your body so something I'm starting to do more is challenging myself to come out of my comfort zone that is why I'm buying sexier lingerie and buying things that suit my body instead of going against it and trying to mold into something that just isn't it. I did put on my Instagram, if you guys saw it, was my red lipstick project. And that was kind of the first actual like, I guess, switch of me being like, I am going to act confident even when I am not. And that was a situation whilst I needed a little bit of a boost to wear the red lipstick from you guys on my Instagram. Thank you for that. It was kind of a signal to me to just do it. So many of you guys sent me such encouraging messages and I was like, Georgia, why are you wasting so much time being so harsh on yourself? So coming out of that, I have started really challenging myself with things like that, whether it's an outfit or red lipstick or, I don't know, a pair of earrings that I think are too out there. Just wear it. If it makes you happy, if it makes you confident, go for it. Life is way too short to be second guessing all of those things. I'm learning to stop being a people pleaser and just doing what I want to do in my own way and backing all of those decisions because yeah confidence I think is such a beautiful thing. So yeah I guess the message in all of this is I'm learning to embrace my imperfections. I'm learning to embrace my larger thighs or my butt or my hips, my stretch marks, my tummy sometimes when I'm bloated or holding a lot of water retention. I am me and I'm proud of that and I am super excited to continue on this confidence journey um, and find my feet again because yeah, as dramatic as it sounds, I really did lose myself for a while there. And my body does so many incredible things for me. So yeah, that is kind of just an update and a little story about the journey that I have been on as of recently. Um, in terms of like body image and confidence and self-love. And I really encourage you guys to do similar with yourselves. If any of that resonated with you or there's just things you've been putting off in terms of like self-improvement. Um, and will get you on the way to living your best life and do it. This is your sign to do it and go for it because you deserve it. You have one life, one shot at this, make it count. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy sending you all a lot of love and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.